question marks from RBG and uh, some unfulfilled expectations from Upper 90. Now sitting at one and three, we expected this team to do a little bit better. And for RBG, an 0-1 record, not a great showing against Plot Twist. So for both these teams, it hasn't been fun so far. Not at all. But when you look at the side of Upper 90, they have a rookie on their team. And if you take all the stats into account, he is the number one player in North America of shadow. He's been incredible thus far, getting goals, getting assists, getting shots. Shots, and most importantly, he's averaging two saves a game. This guy's all over the place. His rotations are incredible. His positioning is impeccable. Look out for him. We're still seeing how Rapid fits into the RBG Esports side, but let's get things underway. Game number one between RBG and Upper 90, and Aeon's trying to start it off with a goal right off the bat. Three seconds in, and RBG on the board. And that's how you open up your second game of the season. Aeon right off the kickoff, reads that perfectly, and squeaks it right underneath the crossbar. 1-0 in favor of RBG. So it takes three seconds for RBG to get on the board. Upper 90 trying to respond back after this kickoff. It does go in favor, and just wide of the net. And the follow-up's there. Astro to turn that one out. Upper 90 in control. Tries to get the ball in possession. Not able to do so, and RBG. Nobody's back for him. This one Is actually might in? drop. It's going to go off the post. The follow-up doesn't connect. One more. <laughs> it goes right under the last defender, and Demo Cat gets upper 90 to tie it up. Oh, and look at the mind games here from him. He just slows down just enough to get both defenders to go in the air, and he goes underneath both of them, making them look like trapeze artists falling from the ceiling. And a tie ball game, this is going to be a shootout, folks. So 21 seconds later, and upper 90 respond back. And for RBG, something that we talked about them when they played against Plot Twist was Rapid taking the ball into the corner. And no support, but talk about Ooh. no support. Democat tries to take this one by himself, and a demo comes out, the shot comes down from who, you guessed it, Shadow and Upper 90 take the lead. Yeah, Demo Cat tried to get that bump on the defender there, and all Rodoko has to do is poke it up, take a defender off the field, and in comes Shadow, trusting in his teammates to rotate out. So he's able to bring that aggressive play into the box. Sparks fly in the first minute, and we're not even 45 seconds in, and three goals have fallen between these two teams. Shadow. The man to watch from upper 90. Ball taken away from him. rodoko has got to clean it up. Trying to challenge Astro in the midfield. Loses that one. And RBG again finding themselves in the corner here. Aeon patiently waiting. It's Rapid who drops it down. But Aeon gets deleted. Here comes upper 90 back the other way. And how about the heads up play from rodoko there to take out the third man rotating in. So there's no shot able to be put on the board. But good midfield presence right now from RBG. Upper 90 to play this one out from their own end. Astro doesn't let them. Two defenders of Upper 90 in their box. Democats trying to catch that one downfield, but it's carved out here by RBG. Rapid trying to get one more touch, drops it down. And the follow-up just couldn't find the angle. It was Astro trying to find Aeon once more. The shot turned away now by Rodoko. RBG putting on the pressure, but can't break through. Oh, and here comes Rodoko, but low on boost. Loses that neutral 50-50 in Shadow. Again, just pressuring the ball. He's so fast. I love his aggressive play. And I'm loving the gameplay we're seeing from both teams right now. When it's all said and done, both teams are going to be leaving with bruises and blood all over. They're just demoing each other left and right. Here's Rapid. Last week, a man that brought RBG down the field and led the charge. Just about halfway through this game, and RBG still find themselves down by one. Rapid once more, a long clear to the midfield. Met by upper 90 here, Shadow. Trying to drop this one down, maybe one more touch. Aeon to clear that one out, and RBG find themselves down the field again. Astro to the corner, looking for Aeon. He's there, does make the connection, but not on target. No boost for Astro, forced to retreat back. This ball just given away here by upper 90. Now with full boost, Astro, he's dangerous off the back wall. The follow-up's there to the back of the net, and Aeon ties up the game. And a good push down the field from Astro. Brings this ball all the way down to the back wall. Gets Shadow out of the equation, and all Aeon has to do is put that shot on target where the defender isn't, and we once again have a tie ball game. So RBG finally respond after a couple minutes of play, exactly two minutes since upper 90 scored their last goal. And here they come again. Rapid can't get the touch there. 
Astro and Aeon waiting patiently for the ball to come out and doing so well just to keep possession for RBG, making it tough for Upper 90 to break out, but they do. A shot comes out just wide. Here's Astro, RBG back the other way. Rodoko can't uh, deal with this one nicely, but RBG maybe a spoiled chance there as there was a little bit of a fumble at the top of the box from Rodoko. Rapid now, RBG doing such a great job in the midfield, not letting upper 90 out. Yeah, not at all. They can't get out to get boost. They can't do much of anything. And Rapid just poking this ball up, but a little too soft. Going to turn it right back over to the orange half. Astro clears this one off his own corner and finds a teammate in Rapid. And the shot comes through from Astro. Maybe two doesn't connect down. And upper 90 counting their blessings there. One minute left. A tied game. In game number one, here's Rodoko. The demo comes through. He's got to beat one more to the cover post. He does put it away into the corner, and Rodoko gives his team the lead. And what a heads up play as well from him, realizing that there's no defender left in net. He just has to get it over Aeon, and just a perfect flip into the upper 90 to take the lead with just under a minute to go. Finds the corner, the upper 90 shot. Aeon off the post. RBG trying to respond back early. 50 seconds left. Rodoko taking his time with this one, bringing it down. Ooh, goes over one, pays oh. the price, but a big miss comes out. Nobody from upper 90 there to punish. And RBG, chances are slowly dwindling here in game number one. Astro over and down to the box. Rapid was there. Now 30 seconds left. Upper 90 still pressing on. Democat does win out the challenge. The follow-up not there from upper 90. Aeon with no boost, forced to go into his own corner. Astro to the midfield. It's Rapid there to receive it. RBG oh. putting something together here in the last 10 seconds. It's there Rapid it once more. Astro's there looking for Aeon now. He is up, but he's beat out by Democat. Rapid's got to go the full f uh, length of the field here, oh. but just completely taken away, stripped from his hands, and Shadow puts this game to bed. And Shadow puts an exclamation mark on this game, dunks the defender coming down, and sends that one in the net, says no opportunity for you. And what a showing from upper 90, but I was very impressed with what we saw from RBG in this match, and most importantly, Astro getting involved in the offensive zone. Shadow putting away two goals of his own. Everyone really getting involved from upper 90. And we kind of said, you know, this team, we don't really know how they're going to come out and play with three losses to their name. They've lost two great teams so already here in the North American Rival Series. But question marks about RBG and upper 90 have really answered the call here. Again, everyone getting involved and 11 shots coming out for upper 90 definitely shows the offense. Yeah, and I think we talked about it this morning. If you missed any of you, if you're going to be facing a team and you're allowing 10 shots on net, you can pretty much chalk up a loss in your column. It's going to be very difficult to defend that many shots on target, and especially when you have Shadow, who is just incredible with his accuracy. He seems like a very smart player as well as positioning rotations. I'm going to be talking about him all game because I'm just impressed with his play that we're seeing so far. And something else that we talked about earlier on today in the European Rival Series was setting the tone, and that's exactly uh, what Upper 90 did here, scoring immediately off the bat. And for RBG, uh, it took them a little bit to respond back. The game was tied for a very long time, but all of a sudden, uh, Upper 90 absorbed a lot of pressure, but then immediately responded back, put away two more goals, and put away the game. So into game number two now, how does RBG respond? They still haven't won a single game in the Rival Series and give them a, a break here. It's only their second showing but they were swept by plot twist and so far winless here against upper 90. Yeah I'm gonna have to say wait to bring out the panic it just seems like they start to panic a little too early when they get down. So how does RBG respond after dropping the first game we'll find out. Rapids trying to find this one off the backboard. Rodoko just bullying him. A miss there from Aeon. Rapids got to get back now. Everyone from upper 90 pushing up the field, but with no boost. That one slowed down by Rapid. Here's Shadow. Taking away the corner boost. Two go from RBG. Shadow has an opportunity to maybe stay with the play. Broken up. So less scoring already here, but Rodoko has a chance for a second touch. 
off the backboard. No one there to follow up from upper 90. And here comes Aeon and RBG to the other side. Yeah, they lucked out as well. There was a little bit of a team bump coming down the field, but Aeon was able to regain control of his car and push that ball downfield. And a nice pop up is going to make Aeon use a lot of boost to get up there and take him out of the equation on this next challenge. Aeon brings this ball down, tries to go over one. Not successful. Here's Shadow. Takes away the corner boost once more. A dangerous opportunity there, but Astro able to deal with it just fine. And still on the ball is Astro. Now picking this one up, trying to go over two. Gets the double commit. A chance for RBG to strike, but just no boost and out of position. Aeon was trying to keep possession by putting into the corner and not forcing the shot. Here's Astro, maybe another opportunity. Off the ceiling, to the back of the net. RBG up by one. And we've been waiting on this one for four games now from RBG Esports. Astro making a mark and coming off the ceiling with a great shot on target. But this is all due to the fact of RBG Esports able to just boost starve upper 90. Astro's a player we saw last season to pull off plays like that and puts his team in the lead here in game two. RBG pressing on now after the kickoff. Trying to build this lead. Take back a game in the series. That's a floater to the back post. It's on the goal line. Everyone from oh. upper 90s panicking. Shadow gets the touch, and it's finally put away by Aeon. RBG up by two. And there you go. You cannot let that opportunity slip away. It just barely rings out. Good opportunity, but Aeon comes in and just shoots it where all the defenders aren't. And RBG Esports with a two-goal lead early on into game number two. So upper 90 lets one slip by. And RBG still off the kickoff. Maybe a second touch off the crossbar. Astro's waiting patiently. He's got 50 boosts in the tank here. What can he do with it? Over one, tries to go under one more. And dunk it into the net, but not able to. Here comes upper 90. Trying now to respond back. More than enough time for upper 90 to get back into this game. Oh, that's dangerous. But the offense has yet to be seen. Only one shot. This one's just going to go straight into the middle of the goal, and Astro's credited. Yeah, it just it was a poor touch there from Rodoko going right off the sidewall, almost at a 90-degree angle. And all Astro has to do is just boom it downfield, look for the dotted lines, and find the middle. So RBG off to fantastic start here in the first half. One shot, as mentioned before, from upper 90 is all they could muster up so far. RBG offense has been suffocating. But again, this game not out of reach for upper 90. They've got to get things going. Here's an opportunity. Right off the crossbar comes down. No follow-up. It just seems like their timing's a little off. So somehow something changed in between games one and two. I think it's the good touch from Astro making Shadow dive for that save. But now Shadow pushing down the field. Demo Cat just beat to him. his left and nobody home. All he has to do is roll it in the net. A little over-aggression on the side of RBG. And you can see Shadow sitting behind the ball. That first defender there fly past your screen from RBG. Thought maybe he would cut it back towards the wall. He doesn't. And Shadow has an open field to play with there at that point. So upper 90, respond back under the wing of Shadow here. Now only down by two with two minutes left. And they're starting to get a little bit of a grasp on this game. There's another shot, maybe one more. Zupper 90 can't put that one away. You feel like the accuracy there hurting them. Shadow somehow gets the ankle on this one with some pace. Astro forced to go up. Good cleared, touch from Aeon. Cleared away by Aeon. And RBG get a great clear. And Rapid almost able to put something together here. A minute and a half left now. Aeon still being a nuisance on the upper 90 side. This one's going to drop down in front of Astro. And RBG playing this one safe. You can see Aeon rotating all the way back to receive that clear. He knew it was coming. He knew the play was breaking down. But still, upper 90 just can't put anything together. Can't keep possession and can't get control of this game. Coming up on a minute left. If you watch their rotations, RBG Esports, very crisp, very clean, not allowing upper 90 to utilize the cherry picker downfield. You continually see Shadow trying to streak downfield and have a teammate pass it up, and he's not home, and Rapid can't find the double tap. Going to lead the numbers for upper 90. There's oh. a flick, and what a save from 
Aeon. Yeah, Aeon does make the save there, and Democat getting fancy there with the flick. And that's a great one to, to throw off the defender and get extra power, but couldn't find the angle. Upper 90 now, 30 seconds left to make some magic happen here. Pass over to Rapid, though. RBG trying to put this one away with a second touch. Rapid just barely missing that one. Upper 90 letting these balls come across their net. Here's another opportunity for Democat. Pops it up over his hood and over the last defender of Astro. And Upper 90 give themselves a chance. He just had too many options available that Astro had to respect. He had a teammate on his left, faked the pass, and then dirty, dirty flick over him. Ta Almost said tie ball game, but we're within one. 15 seconds to go. Upper 90 looking to tie it up. They do give themselves a chance with that goal. 10 seconds left now for Upper 90. A missed touch there opens up some space. This one's going to come across. Can Demo Cat get the second touch? He can't. Time ticking down now into zero second time. The shot comes through. Shadow scores with one second left. And Upper 90 tie it up. Upper 90 not going down that easily. What a absolute monster of a shot from Shadow getting the lucky bounce off the bottom corner of the wall. One second to go until we go to overtime. Can you believe it? Upper 90 come back and force an overtime here in game number two. RBG losing all the momentum. You felt like they were in control for most of this game. We talked about it earlier on. Upper 90 only had one shot, and all of a sudden they tie it up. Those are the moments we're here for, Corelli. Those great game-tying goals with the clock winding down, keeping you on the edge of your seat. Thank you very much, Upper 90, for breaking this a great game. And don't forget, RBG scores three in a row, and Upper 90 responds with three, of, three in a row of their own. So who will break the deadlock? 30 seconds into overtime, and RBG might have a chance. Aeon rips one to the corner. Saved away by Rodoko. Rapid trying to make this one tough for the defense. Shadow does well here to not only collect that ball, but go over the oncoming attacker. Aeon, this one's going to go wide to the net. Rapid can't really make much of a play on it. It pays the price. Upper 90 has a little bit of space here to Whoa. break out, but a pitch comes out from Astro. A missed touch, that's a tough one to read after such a hard pitch. The setup there to Astro. RBG, everyone goes. Now this is dangerous for them. Oh, that's a good clear downfield. And upper 90 trying to make it happen. Here's Democat to the back of the net. Upper 90 take game number two. Shadow just goes downfield. His teammate finds him, and he just puts it on a platter. Democat puts the exclamation mark on this game. And there it is, upper 90 with the victory. And, and I have to be honest, I'm shocked for RBG to let upper 90 come back into this game. We said it before, RBG scored three straight and then gave up three straight. You can see it on your screen, 11 shots from RBG, uh, uh, 10 shots coming out from upper 90. So it was an even offensive game for both teams in the end, but you go back but uh, in the first two and a half minutes here for RBG, and they were in full control. And then all of a sudden, upper 90, they score one. They score two, and RBG says, uh-oh, they scored three. We're into overtime. And all of a sudden, the triple commit uh, comes out from RBG. Everybody goes in the rotation, and nobody comes back. Upper 90 take advantage downfield. They're able to put it away an overtime goal. And not only that, but they're on match point. They are on match point, and like we were talking about in game one, I think it just comes down to the panic factor. I think RBG just a little bit too much saying, oh no, we have to go, we've got to make a hero moment, just hold on, just wait. But earlier in the game, when they had that two-goal advantage, I think they started to turtle up a little too early. You saw Astro all the way back in net, and when the fast break happened, he's just sitting on his feet. You've got to have someone pressuring the ball a little earlier. You've got to be aggressive. You can't just wait on your defense to save you. And something that we mentioned last week that we just saw in that last play, RBG getting caught up in their, their offensive corner. It was something that we talked about last week against Plot Twist, where it felt like the play would fizzle out and they just couldn't go anywhere except for the corner. You're seeing it coming back to bite them in game number two. RBG looking to make amends here in game number three. They had a comfortable lead in the previous venture, but unable to close it out. Missed opportunity there from Astro as the last defender does miss the touch from upper 90. Here's Astro once more into the upper 90 corner. 
looking for Rapid. Rapid's got to turn off it, leaves it for Aeon. A what shot. A save. Tough save from, ja from Shadow, but he does make it. Aeon gets past one, tries to pop it up over two. An upper 90 back the other way. This one might find the back of the net for Rodoko. An upper 90 all of a sudden get a goal. Yeah, good eyes by Rodoko. Seeing Astro in no man's land, just has to put it on target, goes over his head, and no boost in the tank means that goal's going in. An upper 90 with the early lead in game number three. Rodoko doing his fair share of being a part of the offense, and they can strike at any time, upper 90, and they do so here in the first. Well, a little over 30 seconds. So RBG find themselves in the hole once more. Looking similar to game number one, except for the fact that upper 90 now up early on. Astro trying to get a second touch off the back wall. He's there, he drops it down, and RBG tie it up. And that's how you want to do it, just push down field when you see an offender going up in the air. Astro just goes off the crossbar and makes Rodoko pay. Tie ball game, RBG Esports doing whatever they can to stay in this series. Astro being a part of three of six goals, Aeon part of the other three for RBG. And Astro, that's the second one that he's got off of a solo play that upper 90 has really given RBG space for. And Astro taking advantage once again. Here's Democat over Rapid. Also takes him out of the play with that demolition. Here's Rodoko, upper 90, choosing this time to strike, but it's pitched away. Astro now over to Rapid, both in the upper 90 corner. Here's Astro again. Now Shadow in upper 90, looking for a way out, but RBG won't let him do it. A second touch from Aeon. And the shot oh. just goes wide from Rapid. Astro's here to try and clear it up. Aeon waiting for the clear to come through. Rodoko chooses to bring this one down, and Shadow gets upper 90 out. Yeah, upper 90 lucky on that one, because Astro got the boost steal in that back left corner. And here comes Astro with another shot on target, but an easy save for Rodoko. And again, we're coming up on half the game, and upper 90 only has one shot. And RBG looking at five so far. But of course, upper 90 is one for one on their shot, so they'll take that percentage. That's a shot on target. Democat turns that one away. RBG once more putting on the pressure, but upper 90 gets out. And again, Aeon, that deep rotation back, knowing when that plays, going to break down to bail out RBG. Yeah, I'm getting some vibes of game two here. Feels like RBG Esports controlling the entire pitch, but as we know, upper 90 able to strike at any moment. But Astro gonna slow the ball down, get a nice flick over to Aeon. Aeon gonna look for the double tap, it's just a little too hard. Another close call there for RBG. This one's gonna go just over the net. Rodoko does get a touch on it. Rapid picks up some boost here to tries to make a play. Here's Astro, he can beat one, but gets bumped away. The follow up there from Rapid doesn't connect. Aeon, maybe once more, has the backside, puts it away, and RBG take the lead. Oh, and what a powerful shot from Aeon, just ringing this in into that upper 90. Just look at him, get the defender out of net. He has the whole top available to him, and he doesn't miss. When you fire that many shots on target, they've got eight so far. They've got to eventually start falling. Two minutes since the last RBG goal. And they're back into it, but hold on a second. Here comes upper oh. 90, and Rapid comes through and makes a last second save. Clutch there, clutch. Astro looking for Rapid. This one's a dangerous bounce. It's going in. Rodoko's got to make the save. Astro's there. Can he find the target? He can, and RBG extend their lead. Just good pressure from RBG right now, not giving upper 90 any ability to breathe. And Democat was trying to rotate in but he got hung up in the corner. I believe it was Aeon just kind of distracting him there. And once again, RBG Esports with a two goal lead, minute and a half to go, but we've seen this before and we know what upper 90 is capable of. And there have been close calls for upper 90, just haven't been able to convert so far. They have two shots to their name now and RBG still pressing on. More pressure, more shots, more tough saves. A pass out to the midfield, Astro Ops to turn off that one. And Still gets possession 
And maybe a goal here as nobody was home for upper 90. You saw a player fly across your screen, but he was nowhere near the save. Aeon now over to Rapid as he sees that one to the corner. And Astro with a good job there of the defense on Democat. He knows what he's able to do with those flicks. Doesn't give him the opportunity, just takes it away from him. Shadow playing with fate there on his own goal line. 45 seconds left now for upper 90, and Aeon's just trying to beat Rodoko to his own net. Not going to happen. Here comes upper 90. The follow-up oh. just wide of the target. And Astro just clears this one away to buy his teammates time. Upper 90 still on the attack. Democat trying to get involved. Shadow now, a dangerous player for upper 90. Gets bumped away after beating Aeon. Democat, 19 seconds left now for upper 90. This one's going to go just off the corner. Almost an own goal there from Aeon. A close call. But RBG will take it with 10 seconds left. Upper 90 just can't convert, and a long clear comes out. Astro is going to try and kill this one into the upper 90 side, and with one second left, it's impossible. RBG finally get on the board and get a series win. Yeah, they almost shot themselves in the foot there. Almost had an own goal with 15 seconds to go, but way to rally the troops, get that ball back downfield, and how about Astro stepping up huge for his team, getting two goals in this game. Six shots on board, 13 as a team. Just an incredible offensive showing for them. And only three on the upper 90 side, and no saves coming out from RBG, which is telling. Of course, you don't have a lot of shots coming out from under upper 90, but then again, RBG not having to save any is another story. So uh, I think it's pretty obvious what upper 90 need to do. They need to put more pressure on, have a couple more shots, because right now the offense is just not there. RBG has been suffocating yep. on the offensive side, and upper 90 can't break out right now. Yeah, they need to play offense. You can't win games by solely sitting in your own net, and that's exactly exactly what they're doing. They need to play with a little more sense of urgency. I get they were up by two games. They thought they didn't want to just toss that game to the wind. But now RBG Esports has a taste of victory. They have a taste of possible reverse sweep. You got to come out in game four and you got to come out hot. You've got to be aggressive. You've got to show that you can put some some shots on net. And saying, you know, you got to play offense is easier said than done, but it is really the principle of what U90 needs here going into this next game because right now RBG has just been all over them. So we will find out here in game number four. Does RBG extend the series or does Upper 90 finally show us that offense that we saw in game two and put RBG away? Only time will tell here. Rodoko. Upper 90, back on the defensive side. Rapids here, free shot uncontested. Forced to make a goal line save is upper 90. Here's Aeon now trying to receive it off the ceiling. Met again. But that RBG offense, it's always there. That shot just wide. Astro, no boost, can't get to this ball. And the offense fizzles out for RBG. Yeah, speaking of no boost, Shadow working with nothing there, but Great mechanical ability, able to push this ball downfield and finally able to get it into the blue half. Rodoko finding the back wall. This is a free ball for Shadow. He chose the back side and he puts it away. RBG frozen on their goal line and upper 90 take the lead. And especially with the shot placement here, Shadow decides to go low and hard on the ground and Astro with the feels backflip. It happens, you hate to see it, but when your backs are against the wall, you need to play perfect Rocket League. An early goal comes out for upper 90, and it's exactly what they needed here in game number four. Renoko flubs the touch there, and it's given away. Shadow goes by one, but it's straight out to Rapid, looking for a second touch. He's still there. He still follows it up, and he ties up the game for RBG. Oh, my goodness. How much air time does this boy have? He goes up, just waits, and Democat oh. helps him out. Rapid just has to hammer that one home. And once again, tie ball game between these two teams just battling back and forth. Upper 90 looking a little more crisp in this one, though. And Astro trying to get the quick kickoff goal. Rodoko there to turn it away. Shadow. He's been hot and he's been cold for upper 90. See what he can do in this game. This ball floating top of the box there for RBG and upper 90. Not really reacting to it. Astro finds the back wall. The follow-up's there, but a big save comes out from Shadow. Still pressing on his RBG. 
And there's that play we were talking about, Shadow pushing forward, looking for that cherry pick downfield. I think RBG is starting to realize that, though, that they only have two on defense because Shadow's being so aggressive, pushing out to midfield, looking for those passes. And it really does feel like that upper 90 leaving a lot of space for RBG. We've mentioned it a few times now. A demo comes out on Aeon, so two back for RBG. Here's two for upper 90. Shadow tries to go up over one. Rodoko's forced to go back to his own side. Doesn't pick up the boost. And does so there. But Astro's still on the ball. Gets bumped into his own flick. Just throws it across the field. So unfortunate. Demo Cat now for upper 90 trying to make things happen. But he's just got no support from his teammate. Here comes Astro. He's dangerous on the solo plays. But Rodoko reads that one nicely. Yeah, good defense from upper 90 there and good midfield control so far from RBG Esports still. Six shots for RBG to upper 90s two halfway through this game. Astro past one. Aeon's there. Shot right at oh, Shadow. Yeah. The follow up again. RBG that close to scoring, but the defense stands tall for upper 90. This one's going to kick out to the top of the box. Someone's there to put it away. It's Radoko who drops it down, and RBG give up the second goal. Oh, my goodness. Just look at the pressure downfield from Democat, causing chaos in the blue net. Bumps Aeon away, and Astro can't do much there. If he hits that ball, he hits it into the opposite side of the net. Upper 90 take the lead, but RBG Esports, no need to panic just yet. Let's see them continue to play good Rocket League. Two minutes left, Shadow trying to stay on the ball, gives it up. And into the upper 90 corner it goes. Astro trying to respond back after giving up that goal. Aeon now bouncing off the back wall. Rodoko misses the read. Rapid now has some space, finds the back wall once more. Astro's up, but he can't put it on target. All of upper 90 were in front of their net there. Nobody was there to contest any play. But still, upper 90 able to get out. Oh, that's a dangerous touch. And you got two members from RBG up, but thankfully get the pinch to put it down into the corner. But, oh, a miss from Shadow on the clear. Going to open things up. And Radoko just putting that on target, hoping and praying that can find its way to the net. Rapid does well to turn that one away. Astro now. The long clear goes straight to Radoko. Tries to follow it up, but Aeon's there. Democrat. Demo Cat, excuse me, tries to get the pinch, but does follow it up nicely. And this one's going to kick out dangerously, but nobody from upper 90 read it. With less than a minute left, RBG finding themselves more and more on defense. Rapid forced to make the touch. Oh, that's nice. Aeon bails out RBG. This is dangerous. This goes just off the top of the net. Astro's there to finish it off, and we got ourselves a tie game. Yeah, and I love the fact that RBG didn't panic whatsoever. They kept playing, kept sticking with their game plan, and waited for the mistake to come out, and Astro makes them pay. A tie game in game four. 45 seconds left. Last time we had an overtime, upper 90 were the victors. In game number two, it took a minute and 16 seconds. RBG trying not to go to overtime. Gets everyone to commit on upper 90. Here's Aeon, a free touch off the back wall. Rapids there. Can he put it off the crossbar? Oh. He does. He can't find the target. The follow-up's oh. there. Turned away by Shadow. RBG still on the attack and finally cleared out by Demo Cat. Shadow still sitting in net with zero boost. He has nothing and gets an absolute beautiful 50-50 down the field. And Rapid there for the clutch save. A big clear comes out for Rapid. He had no boost. He knows that one's not going in, but RBG on offense might have the last say. Aeon's up, gets the touch. No, he doesn't actually get it. Both players miss on both sides, and Rapid can't keep that one up. We got ourselves overtime in game four. Ooh, baby, this is a fun series, keeping you excited throughout the entirety of it. Upper 90 find themselves on defense off the kickoff. A big pinch comes out to help him bail out, and on offense they go. Shadow, can he put the series away? No, he can't get the touch. Still dangerous for upper 90, as this one's cleared into the RBG corner. Rodoko clears this one across. Nobody there from upper 90. And Rapid gets them out. So things calm down now for RBG. Yeah, Astra has no boost either. Oh, what a touch. That was a great touch on target, but Aeon trying to give him a little breathing room. No one home. But Rodoko can't look at the net, can't find his target. And RBG get away with one there. Still on defense is RBG. U90 having a big 
Extended stay here on offense. This one put into the U90 corner. A big miss comes out. Rapid, can he put it by just wide of the net? A follow-up's there, and it's finally put it away. We got ourselves a game five. Oh, baby, RBG Esports climbing their way back into this match. What a great pass from Rapid, and then Aeon screams that one into the upper left 90. Every single member of RBG Esports showing up in this game when they were needed most. Wow, RBG. Look at the shots from upper 94. RBG Esports just aren't allowing any type of offense at all. 15 shots coming out from RBG. <laughs> if you want to talk about offense, RBG's doing it for both teams right now. And look at the saves counter as well for upper 99 coming out here, and it still wasn't enough. Still giving up the game-winning goal in overtime, and now for RBG, they've clawed their way back into this series, and they go into Game 5 with the momentum after the win in Game 4. Yeah, I want to see Upper 90 change it up a little bit. RBG Esports has figured out that someone's pushing forward. They're going to be down a man. If we can continue the pressure, if we can tighten up our offense and just keep putting shot after shot, they're not going to be able to break out of their zone, and we're seeing exactly that. And I think what hurts the most here for Upper 90 is that they did have a lot of opportunity on the RBG side. It just never came through. A couple tough saves or a lot of free balls that Upper 90 really didn't uh, uh, capitalize on. They just weren't there, whether they didn't have the boost or they were out of position. RBG did give them the space to make plays happen, to create something. Upper 90 just couldn't be there to convert. So we go to game five and we look for Upper 90 to start converting on those chances. We look at RBG, can you get a lead and hold on to it? So a lot of questions come out from both these teams, and it goes back to our predictions. A well, lot of questions. A lot of questions, and you said, hold on, so I'm going to do that. I'm holding on to the edge of my seat. Game five between two powerhouses in North America. What a way to wind down the North American Rival Series for this week in RBG. Trying to end it on a high note. Demo comes out on Demo Cat. Aeon <laughs> has a shot, free on target, nobody's there. RBG up by one. Keep your eye on Shadow on defense. He tries to just sit and wait, and Astro says, nah, go in timeout, sit in the corner, and Aeon makes him pay. The demo comes out in a couple bumps to help out RBG. And that's exactly what you need in the Game 5 situation. This win is crucial for RBG, as they have the majority of their games still left to play. So into the lead, RBG go in the first 45, or excuse me, 15 seconds. Upper 90 might have something to say. Rodoko, last man back. Got all of RBG chasing after him. Does well to beat one, but it's straight over to Astro. Now Aeon trying to make the play across. Beats one, Rapids on the far side. Can he drop it down? No, here comes Astro, the shot. It's weak, and upper 90 cleared away. Smart put downfield from Shadow, seeing Aeon was the only one back, tries to get it over his head, but just couldn't quite get the power on that. Demo Cat gets faked out by Astro. Good passing play, and he puts it up. Rapid puts it in, and a 2-0 lead for RBG Esports. This is a great play coming out from RBG. Astro beats the first defender, gets a nice bounce back into him, sets up his teammate for success, beats the last defender, and RBG put together a wonderful goal for a two-goal lead. This feels like a brand new team than the one we saw that played against Plot Twist. They are firing on all cylinders. So a two-goal lead opens up for RBG, upper 90 still really haven't had much to say. Zero shots on the board, still only a minute or so in. There is a shot, it's the first one for upper 90, and it goes in for them. I love the passing plays that they put on the board. Shadow sees Rodoko streaking across the box, and Rodoko says, Rapid, you have no chance at saving this. Upper 90 making a ball game out of game five. So 100% shooting for upper 90 exactly what you want to see. If you're not going to take a lot of shots, you better finish them when you have them. Still, game five is young for both these teams. And a story yet to be written here. Aeon trying to put himself in front. This one's going to bounce down dangerously here for Astro. Rapids high flying, but a weak touch. Didn't really read that one perfectly. Aeon's forced to make the save back into his own corner. Follow up there from Rodoko Astro. Trying to land on top of this one and win the challenge. Not able to do so. 
More clear comes out for Rapid. Two go from upper 90, but it doesn't matter because it goes in for Shadow and they tie it up just like that. Yeah, this hit by Rapid just wasn't the greatest for his team. Makes him turn around, get twisted up, mess up the rotations and the positioning, and Shadow Fires that one on target. Good shot placement from him, but you got to question the double commit could come back later on to bite him. Well, it was a double commit from upper 90, but really what set up that play was the errant touch there from Rapid, who just lost control. So given away is the lead by RBG, and upper 90 finding more and more confidence, more and more space on offense. There's a shot rings out there from Shadow. Rapid doing a good job of not only making the save, but then transitioning onto offense. Tries to beat one defender, comes straight out to Aeon. Halfway through this game, RBG haven't really shown much offense that we've seen in the previous games. Yeah, they only have four compared to their 47 from last game. And I think that's a rough estimate. Very rough. But for RBG, it does stand true that they have taken quite a bit of shots here against Upper 90 throughout this series. Upper 90 definitely making some adjustments here. Another touch comes out from Rapid. But he's able to follow this one up from his own box. Upper 90 finding themselves on defense once more. This ball popped up. RBG trying to make the play on it. Rapid from the corner drops it down off the ceiling, but no one's there to receive it from RBG. And Upper 90 able to carry this one out. Democat throws it away to Aeon. Aeon's out of boost, though. Here's Ooh. Rapid to his own corner. Play slowing down here, but Rodoko trying to take, take things into his own hands. That was actually two going for upper 90, so it's just Shadow back. He should be able to deal with this one. Gives it straight away, though, to the RBG offense, who have just been swallowing up the clears from upper 90 throughout this series. It's what's led to so much of their attacking. Yeah, and how about Astro coming into the series with no goals on the season, but let's talk about Aeon right now because he gives RBG the lead with a minute to go. And a shot comes out from Aeon that is just a free ball just in front of the box between the halfway mark and nobody there to really challenge from upper 90. So question marks about the rotation coming out. It's a great, it's a finely placed shot, but you got to feel like someone from upper 90 should have been there to contest, given away their possible chances of taking down this series, and with a minute left, Upper 90 has got to get one. Oof. Rodoko coming in for the last-ditch effort save. Less than a minute to go for Upper 90 to try and start some type of offense, but if you're on RBG, all you need to do is hit the ball high, hit the ball far, and just wind the clock down. Here's a chance now for Rodoko. Just oh. lobbed across the, ball, the box. Nobody from Upper 90 was there. That or they just weren't expecting it. Democat reads that one perfectly. But this one goes off the back wall. RBG trying to put this series away. Unable to find the target. Here's Rapid full boost into this one as he goes towards the net. Read out by Democat. 15 seconds left now for upper 90. Here's Shadow to his own corner. Met by Astro. RBG not letting upper 90 out. Democat. Not the best clear. Shadow, it's up to him. Can he carry this one? He does have the boost to do so. He pops it up, looking for help from his teammates. Shut down by Rapid and RBG, taken in five games. And it's perfect time for spring cleaning. Might as well pull out the reverse sweep.